This is the message some public health officials in China are also trying to get out, as Bian explains. 57-year-old Mei Weiming was admitted into a hospital a few weeks ago after he was diagnosed with lung cancer. Doctors attribute the cancer to his smoking for 40 years when he used to smoke more than 20 cigarettes a day. As a result, a quarter of his lungs have to be cut off. If I had known today's result, definitely I wouldn't have smoked that much and possibly got rid of the habit at an early age. But in fact, I have never thought about giving it up as I believed my physical condition is good enough not to get lung cancer. Lung cancer has become the most fatal cancer in Shanghai. The city sees an increase of more than 8,000 new lung cancer patients a year. By comparison, the annual death cases reach over 7,000. Doctors say smoking is responsible for at least 70% of lung cancer cases. Experts predict by 2025, nearly 1 million people in China will die of lung cancer as a result of the current high cigarette consumption. As part of curbing efforts, China's National People's Congress approved two years ago WHO's Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. Medical experts expect the enforcement will help cut more than 100 million people from smoking in China by 2030. But they worry huge roadblocks lie in the way. I think the biggest challenge we face now is that smoking has actually become a part of our social culture. More and more people believe smoking is an important media for interpersonal communication, and the public attitude towards smoking is tolerant. So it won't be effective for tobacco control if we simply tell people smoking is bad for their health. Experts believe compulsory measures like legislation improvement and stronger law enforcement will help make some change. They include imposing severe punishments on smoking in public places and raising the tax rate on cigarette manufacturing. Experts also attach great importance to more media involvement and hope they can help the public, especially the young, to gradually correct their assumptions about smoking. Chen Tingjie, SBN China for CNN World Reports. And we will have